Welcome back everyone to some more Final Fantasy VI. You probably know this by name, but I'm Shadow Yan and I'm going to make you follow me in this crazy adventure, alright? So let's go here, talk to this guy. King Edgar, where are you headed, sire? Through the cave and eastward to South Figaro. We'll then make for the Returner Headquarters in the north. Return to the castle and pass the word along. Understood, sire. Take care. So now we'll go into this cave and like Edgar said, we will head to South Figaro. And before we go, you will notice the spring here, it will uh, fully recover your HPs and MPs. Another nice spot uh, if you want to, you know, grind some experience, some levels. But I'm not going to do that. So here, you want to go here before um, continuing the whole uh, cave. Because there's an item over there and let's check how stupid the strong Edgar is in this part. I mean, look at that. He kills two enemies and these three are almost dead already. And you just can uh, use fire of them with Terra to take care of them all. You earn a distant amount of experience and a lot of kills. You will need the gills la uh, later in this part. So I suggest if you don't have a whole lot of them that you, you know, do a couple of fights and get money because, uh, well, you need it to buy some more stuff. So let's look across both of them all. Um, I, I gotta say, I love the music here. I think it's very soothing even if there's a lot of monsters and, and everything, I don't know, I just love the music here. Do you, do you like it, guys? I'm curious, you know? Because, uh, I don't know if you saw it in the first episode, but, you know, um, they, they said in the generic that Nobuo Uematsu worked on the music on this game. If you don't know that name, I highly suggest that you look around and search his stuff if you like the music in this game because he made all the music in Final Fantasy VI and honestly I love all of his work. And if you love the Final Fantasy VI because of his music, uh, well, I highly suggest that you look more into Nobu Uematsu because he is, in my opinion, one of the greatest composers of all time in terms of gaming. And uh, his work deserves to be known. Uh, and we get here another random encounter and I wish we could, you know, get out of this cave quickly now because there's something else I want to show before we actually head to South Figaro and I'm not sure how long it will take in fact so I just want to hurry here and of course another bunch of enemies nothing really threatening here I'll just burn them all. Let's rush with steel and with that gun. Let's do a bio blaster to you know change things a bit. But so they are not very weak. Poison, I guess. Good thing to know. So let's set up over here. And the exit is just there. So, I looked for the item I was talking about, and uh, 
I'm not sure how I will do this, I think I'm just going to, you know, cut some footage because the enemy that carries the item I want here is not extremely rare, but the item they carry is. So it can take a couple of tries. So if you don't mind, I think. <sighs> Seriously, what the hell with all those random encounters? I mean, it's usually one in 20 steps, not one in, uh, in five. Alright, like I said, I'm going to cut this here, but don't worry, the video is not over. I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Oh my god! Finally! Ugh, I'm so glad I can now kill that piece of crap. Sorry here, but it took me like 25 minutes to find one Mithril Claw. Yeah. Took me forever. But I'm glad this is done because this will be useful. So, you probably probably saw that guy in black over there. We're not going to chase him yet, if you allow me the uh, figure speech. I want to, you know, uh, search for a couple of items in the crates and in the barrel before we do that. Because, you know, free items are always useful. So I think I pretty much looted everything around here, so let's go in this shop. You can gain all kinds of abilities by equipping relics. These shoes double my walking speed! And make you look like a complete idiot. Anyways, like he said, there are various relics in this game, many have very useful effect, like he said, the sprint, the sprint shoes double your speed while walking. The gauntlet allows you, like uh, Mug is saying, to, equip, to hold a weapon with both hands to do more damage and everything, uh, and things like that. So you want to check the relic shops every time you're in town and equip the nice. Uh, the nice, the best relics to uh, the best character. So I'm going to buy some sprint shoes. I don't think I need something else. Prevent poison. If you have some extra money, I would buy some star pendant because the, the next uh, zone where we will go, the enemies are. Oops, it's a relic I want to go and make it lucky more useful by equipping in the shoes. So. Like I said, the next zone where you will go, the next dungeon, uh, has a couple of enemies able to poison you, so I highly suggest that if you have some extra money, that you buy the star pendants to avoid wasting uh, antidotes or uh, MPs trying to heal that poison. Let's sleep with them. Figaro Castle stood up to the Empire. Great, now we'll all be drawn into this. But screw you, I did what I had to do. So here the music here, this is the theme of that guy over there. Let's talk to him. Right, ignore us and maybe we'll just disappear. Luck is not happy. Back off, Lucky. That guy looks familiar. Yeah, that's him. Alright. So. He come and goes like the wind, swearing allegiance to no one. Hidden behind his wintry gaze lies a face known to, no one, to none who live. So this is Shadow. A ninja and master assassin. 
sadly we won't be able to do anything with him yet because yeah he is busy uh, busy trying to get a drink I guess he's an assassin he killed his own best friend for the right price guess we'd better steer clear of him in fact no he's a decent guy not really <laughs> But hey, we can't blame luck for being um, careful, you know? So now that we have the sprint shoes, it will be a lot easier to explore the whole place. We're... is there anything? Yes, a potion! So we're going to go in the shops and buy some new equips. So... Uh, yes, I could buy a great sword for Terra. And a mithril sword for luck. So let's equip these real quick. Uh, I have two? Oh right, I have also Edgar's when I unequip this to put the mithril pike. Oh well. I guess that will teach me. Uh, so we'll buy two uh, heavy shield here. Yeah, two. And the three plumbed hat. The cotton robe for Terra. And I uh, don't have enough money, so let me, you know, equip these and then sell my old stuff. Plumbed hat. Uh, plumbed hat. The heavy shield. I think I forgot to equip the dress, so uh, I'll come back to do that later. So I'll sell the Mithril Knight. But no, not the cut up bro. <laughs> Leather caps, bucklers, and that's about it. So we'll buy the Kento G for luck. Let's equip those armors. Not bad, not bad. Not bad here. Uh, also, you, you probably noticed that uh, I didn't heal when I was in the inn. Because you can sleep in inns for money and, uh, you know, um, heal all your HPs and MPs. Well, I didn't do that because... Uh, there's another uh, free spot for complete healing just a bit further. Yeah, the beginning of the game has plenty of those, so... Except if you're really in big trouble, try to, you know, save your money and use these free spots to... Uh, to, uh, you know, s save money and uh, completely heal yourself. Is there an antidote? Always check the clocks when you are in a, in a town or something because that's where you, you will find most of your elixir. So I don't have much money, I'm going to save the rest I have. And I think this is time we actually leave town. There's nothing else for us to do I believe. If there is, uh, you can always, you know, comment about it or send me a message and I will uh, you know add it with a little uh, speech bubble to let everyone knows uh, no so i'm going to go up up here and you want to go in that little cabin here mm -hmm. what's that smell so if you take a look around these flowers he always liked these. It seems Ed Edgar knows the person who lives here, and we get a potion from the bucket. This tea, it was his favorite. These dishes, they're just like the ones he always used. So now let's sleep in the bed real quick. And I wonder if he lives alone one, he has three beds anyway. <laughs> Gaming logic. 
Could Sabin be living here? And who's that guy over there? Let's talk to him. Hey. Do you happen to know where I could find a man who lives here? Sure do. Left a couple of days ago, soon as he heard Master Duncan had been killed. Headed up into the mountains. They say Duncan's son Vargas is missing too. I don't like it one bit. So... Oh my god, that was horrible. I can't wait to hear it back on the recording. <laughs> Let's go to the Mount Colt. But we will end this up here because the video is getting long and Mount Colt is kind of a long area. So like if you like the video and see you guys dance.